Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Kripe Man. What we're going to do this time through, and you notice we're in Bryce. This isn't. This is going to be how to incorporate some Bryce textures into Carrera. Uh, if you didn't get, if you didn't take Daz up on their offer to uh, download Bryce and get to know it, uh, you're missing out because Bryce is a very cool program. It's limited in a lot of ways. It has a lot of cool things to offer, though. So, um, what I did is I started out with a new document, document setup. 640 by 480 and everything's cool there I'm going to keep it like that and if you go down here to this bottom tab you go into uh, there's a whole lot of options here just go ahead and click render options and start make sure that default no anti-aliasing is tacked uh, this is going to um, this is going to speed up your render time also do a preview render that's going to speed up your render time everything else is cool let's go ahead and push that or push enter and let's go to create and no matter if you click on any of these things here you're going to get a shape so let's go ahead and click the cube shape and if you have it sent if you have the shape centered in the uh, to where it loads in the center of your screen it's going to load right there now let's go into let's go ahead and push command M or just push the M well let's go ahead and push the M since everybody can do that and we don't have any we don't have a texture here what we can do is go ahead and click this and let's go to the right hand side of our screen and you notice that there are a bunch of different things that you can pick here uh, and honestly you want to go through these a little bit later let's go ahead and click this little tab here and let's do uh, walls let's do a stone wall or let's do a high frequency stone wall and everything automatically loads in the diffuse bump and uh, ambient this is cool right here let's go ahead and click this let's do a preview render to see what we got and that looks a little fakey let's go ahead and go jump back in here and let's pick a different one let's pick the low frequency wall Actually, you can do uh, the encrusted wall. The encrusted. Let's do that one. That one looks kind of cool. Uh, and you notice that there are a bunch of different things here. Uh, I'm sure that there's Bryce tutorials all over the internet. Um, get to know get to know your deep texture editor because it's it's a very cool way to generate textures. Um, since this this is uh, pretty much what we want, let's go ahead and click out here. Let's do a preview render. and that still kind of looks fakey but this is what we're going to use now let's go ahead and export this let's go ahead and export object and we're going to make a new folder we're just going to call it untitled folder and we're going to do castle and we're going to export it as a uh, wavefront object you can use you can use any one of these and get pretty much the same results but I've always used wavefront object, so this is one we're this one I'm comfortable with. This is one we're going to use. Um, castle object, we're going to save it, and it's creating image maps, which is what we want for Carrera. And we get the spinning lollipop of death. And note that you can use this for for your um, terrains, uh, just about any of these other objects. You can do the exact same thing, whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, let's go ahead and exit out of Bryce. Let's go ahead and quit. And yeah, we're not going to worry about saving it. Let's jump into Carrera. And now let's make a basic castle shape. We're going to use the spline object. And we're not going to do a, a full castle, but we're going to do a castle shape. Let's go ahead and face front. And I have the grid turned on, so everything's going to pretty much snap to the grid. We got that. Now let's make a circle. That'll work. Well, let's bring that up just a little bit. Come on, baby. There we go. That may be a little much, but we're just practicing. Uh, let's go ahead and copy this shape, paste it, and bring it down here. And 
what we're going to make is the ramparts. Go ahead and paste and put this over here. And paste and put this over here. Now there's a lot more tweaking you can do to make this into a castle. It's it this isn't stonemason uh, quality stuff, but we just want to kind of get a basic feel for our for our shape. And in order to make it a little more even, you can you can uh, go ahead and crease, decrease this by about two, and then you can make your make it snap a little bit better. See that? Using your grid functions. Cool and cool and cool. Nah, you can play with this all day. All right, uh, let's go ahead and jump into the director's camera, and let's stretch that out a little bit. Okay, and that's pretty much a castle shape, kinda. Uh, just pretend it's a castle shape, okay? Let's go ahead and jump out of here. Uh, let's do motion, object to hot point to get everything centered. Jump into our rotation, right over here, and on the red rotation, do 90 degrees. Push enter, and now we have our basic castle shape. Push zero to center in, oh, 90, keep it like that. Click out of that, click it again, push zero, we're going to center in on it, and now let's start working on the texture. Uh, let's go into general, push edit, and our color, our texture map is going to be our Bryce generated textures. Let's go into our untitled folder. And you see all these textures here? The castle object is just basically a square. What we want is the diffuse color. We're going to open it, push OK. And you notice nothing shows up here because it has color and alpha. It generated the alpha maps too. So let's go ahead and do color only. And now we have our basic yuck. It's not very good. Let's go ahead and tile this. Let's do it about four times here. You see that? See how it's kind of tiling on there? That's what we want. Do that about four times there. And the bad thing about doing the tiling is you can tell if you're you can tell that it's a tiled image. See that? Now, let's make it to where we don't have to render this all the time. And push that. There we go. It takes a second to load. Uh, that'll work. Now, this is going to be kind of cheesy. This is going to be the best ta castle texture, but it's going to be decent. Let's do, uh, let's do a texture map for the bump. And let's load the bump in here. And this is going to help our texture out a lot. Do color only. Yeah, let's do a render. And see how it's done this in, into the, it's added itself to the image here, which is cool. Let's go ahead and tile this about four times too. And now our bump is going to fit perfectly on our castle. Now to kind of shake that up a little bit, what you can do is you can take your texture map and multiply it by a Bryce function. Let's do uh, cellular. Cellular is cool. And you notice you look down here and you see that the bump is added. That the bump has been added to this. Let's go ahead and scale it down just a little bit. Scale it down a little bit more. Bring the intensity down a little bit. render this. Actually I have a better castle texture. Let's go ahead and go over here and let's open this up and I've got a castle texture that I started out with I liked better. Let's do the diffuse color, open that, OK, color only and there we go that's a little bit better. That's using the castle texture, the um, uh, stone wall texture, low frequency and that tiled a little bit better. 
So you can play around with this a lot. You can you can do a lot of different things with it. This is just what I can do in a short time. If you took a little time and played with it, you could get a lot better textures. But see how that came out? That'll work. You can also um, tile symmetrically or seamlessly. And that actually, it when you do that, it kind of, you can really tell that it's been done symmetrically. So you can play with it. Generate extra maps. We can also multiply this map. Let's go ahead and take the tile off this. The seamless map. And multiply this by our cheesy <laughs> our cheesy map uh, go texture go into our untitled folder and let's do uh, diffuse open ok kapow and the 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 things that you can do go on and on and on and on. So, uh, if you like, I said, if you haven't jumped on the ba if you haven't jumped on the Bryce bandwagon, if you haven't checked out Daz's opportunity to, opportunity to give you Bryce, if you haven't jumped on on the free Bryce thing, do it. Do it before it goes away because it's a very cool program. It'll help you expand your toolbox greatly. So, um, yeah, that's a uh, that's what I have to say about Bryce. So anyway, that's it for this time. I'm Cripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later.